Creating your own print-on-demand website is the ultimate goal. It's the best way to have full control of your business outcome. It's the best way to have full control of your business and the outcome. No more getting banned, no more anything really. You have full control and that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. I want to take you through the steps of creating a full WordPress website along with WooCommerce and Printful to create your very own print-on-demand website. I'm going to be using Hostinger as the hosting, because with WordPress, you don't get free hosting. It's not like Squarespace or Zyro where hosting comes with the plan. WordPress, you also need to pay for hosting. But Hostinger have sponsored this video and they've got a really good deal for you in order to get shared hosting for your WordPress website. So we're going to be talking about them a bit later on in this video. Step number one. First thing we need to do is actually sign up for hosting. And now the reason for this is because everything is done through your hosting H panel, right? And I'm gonna show you what mine looks like. This is me logged in. I've already bought hosting, but if you haven't bought hosting, you can do that. And then this is what you'll see. So I can claim a free domain because that comes with this. I can build a Zyro website because hosting and Zyro are kind of linked. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a WordPress website directly through this you know, platform. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, once you once you signed up and you bought a plan, right, you're gonna you're gonna like look like this. It's gonna look like this. We need to go to premium web hosting and click setup. And that will take us to this page. And now we just have to go through it. It's really straightforward. So let's just click start now. I'm creating a website for myself. It will be a online store, right? I am a um, a beginner but I have some experience with creating websites. Right, and then it says, do you want to create a website with Zyro? Now, this time we want to create a website with WordPress because we're gonna link WordPress with WooCommerce. So click choose other options. And then you've got WordPress, WooCommerce plus WordPress and other. Now we can just do WordPress and link WooCommerce later, or we can just click this one and do it all at once. So let's click select. Now it says create a WordPress account. So let's just create a WordPress account. Click continue. And then it says, which do you prefer? Simply natural, organic store, or brand store? I'm just gonna go for this one. Seems like the best one, right? And now what you can do is you can name your website. So either you can buy domain, use an existing domain, or claim a free domain because you get that with your plan, right? And you'll see the link in the description if you want to sign up for Hostinger. But we're gonna click claim a free domain. And what should this name, oh, what should it be? This is all a test, so. Let's go for, um, again, this isn't going to be my print-on-demand store. I'm just showing you how to create a print-on-demand store using WordPress. So then we click continue, finish setup. And I mean, that's the setup, right? We're now going to actually be creating the WordPress store, linking it all together and well, you'll see. I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin the surprise, but the next step is gonna be an exciting one. Once the setup is done, it will take you to this. Now I know the setup says it takes three minutes. It takes a bit longer than three minutes, but just, just wait a minute and if it still doesn't work, just refresh the page and you'll be absolutely fine. And then it takes you to this. You've got the WordPress dashboard and you've got the control panel. So let's just go to WordPress, manage WordPress, right? So you can open that in a new tab and also we can manage the site. So if we wanna add SSL or anything like that, we can do that. Now you've got so much stuff here, so don't worry if this is confusing or anything like that. We wanna just scroll down and go to SSL certificate and that's where you have the little padlock in the top corner. So let's click setup and then click install SSL. It's it's very straightforward and this is the reason why I like this, this platform because it just seems very, very user-friendly and usually these platforms are really difficult, right? And confusing and, and, and time-consuming and everything, but everything just kind of like seems to work and, and flow nicely. So here, SSL will be automatically installed. Brilliant, right? Very, very cool. Right, now, let's go over to Shimmy Morris Media. This is what the website looks like at the moment, right? However, we need to customize this just, just quite a bit. So let's go into, well, firstly, you can see we've got the store, about us, content us, my account, cart, everything. So it's set up with WooCommerce like a shop. But let's go into the dashboard of WordPress and actually have a look at this. So we need to log in, 
and you're taken to this. So this is your WordPress dashboard. It looks hella confusing, but don't worry, it, it's not so bad. We've got a couple of things here that are important. Firstly, we've got WooCommerce here, which is the actual site that we're going to be using, right? So you can see this is the whole thing. We need to set everything up. So I'm gonna quickly run through this, set it up. You don't really need to, I'm gonna speed through it because this is just all very basic information to put in. By doing this and selecting the ad recommended business features, you've got all of these things over here and it tells you over here installing the following plugins, WooCommerce Payments, WooCommerce Shipping and Tax, Jetpack, MailPoet, Google Listings and Ads, MailChimp for WooCommerce. So this will take a bit of time to actually install and then it will be able to go to our website, actually create a theme, connect it with a printing partner and start getting sales. Right, now that that's done, we just have to pick a theme. There are so many different themes here, but one that works really well for print on demand is Astra, right? And this is actually my active theme, which works perfectly. So I'm just gonna click continue with my active theme. Now, when this is still setting up in the background, let me just tell you a bit about Hostinger. Hostinger are an amazing platform, and you can see from the beginning of this video, I use them to set the whole thing up from their each panel all the way to actually creating a WordPress account. So let me just quickly show you Hostinger's plan, because with WordPress, you're going to want to pick one of their shared plans. You don't need a private plan. Shared hosting will work absolutely perfectly, and the link to get this will be in the description. If you use the code SHIMMY at checkout, you'll actually be able to get a huge, huge discount. But let's have a look. So if we go in here and we click um, premium web hosting, this seems to be the best one, right? The best one that we want to do, right? It's still only $1.99 per month, which is very, very cheap. All we have to do is click add to cart. And then we need to, or let's get rid of all of this get rid of this because you get a free domain as well, which is really cool. Now, if you do it for 48 months, it's 199. Now, the shorter you do it for, so one month, so one rolling month contract, it's 10 pound 19 a month. So if you don't wanna do 48 months because it seems quite long, then potentially the 24 month option seems okay. Now, we can also put a coupon code in. So let's put in the coupon code SHIMMY and it will give a further discount. So now you can see it's gone down to 185, which is pretty cool. I mean, any discount, any discount helps with this kind of thing, especially if you're just starting out print on demand and you wanna create your own website. So this is what I'd recommend doing. You just click checkout and you're good to go. Like I said, the link is in the description, but for now, let's go back to WordPress and finish setting up our site so that we have a full print on demand with hosting ready to go. Right, it now has taken us back to the WordPress, well, it's called the WooCommerce Stores Online Headquarters, and this is where we'll be able to do everything. And just by the way, it will tell you how to do things. So here's where you'll find setup suggestions, tips and tools, a personalized inbox full of relevant advice, and good data leads to smart business. So it will just give you all the data and everything you need to know. So let's click, let's go. You've got these three things or four things you actually have to do. You need to select getting paid with WooCommerce payments and this will take you to Stripe where you can set that whole thing up. Then you need to set up tax and this is where you just have to select your location so it knows your tax stuff. So again, it configures your tax rates based on your location, right? And then you've got set up shipping. Again, this is based on your location. So if you wanna do, let's exit that. Free shipping to the whole of UK, brilliant. If you wanna do the rest of the world as well, brilliant. But for now, we're just gonna leave that Let's go back and then finally we need to click personalize my store. So let's click, let's go, right? And other things to do would be setting up a Google listing and ads, but we don't need to worry about that just yet. Okay, let's click, let's go to setting up your store. So click create a homepage to start with and that's done. Now we can click over here to customize it, right? We can upload a logo, but we're gonna skip this and store noticed, we're gonna, you know, just click complete task at this point. Right, now just before we customize this store, because that's very simple, you just have to go over to appearance and then customize. Before we do that, we're going to go back over here and we're going to look at products, okay? So you can see products over here, all products. Now with the theme, it's come with a whole bunch of plants. We're going to delete all of these products and we're going to connect it to Printful and then add products that way. So let's get bulk actions, move to trash, apply, and now all these products should go to the trash, right? We have no products now. Now we're gonna head over to Printful. Now you can use any um, printing partner. We're gonna use Printful for this example, but head over to Printful 
and let's actually connect that up. We want to go to plugins, okay? Plugins is where you can get a whole bunch of different, different like apps in a way for your WordPress website. So for example, like Jetpack, that was one of the plugins we got, but let's search for a new plugin. So let's just dismiss this and click add new over here at the top and we're gonna add Printful. So let's search for plugin Printful. There you go, right? Printful integration for WooCommerce. Let's click install now and then it will install. And now all we have to do is pretty much connect it. So it will take us to the uh, plugin page. So let's go to installed plugins and then we can activate it. So if we scroll down and we find Printful, Printful, here we go. Now we need to just click activate. Okay, once we've clicked activate, we should be good to go. It should show up over here. Bam, look at that, right over there. So we can click Printful and now we can connect. Okay, so it says here, to connect your store to Printful, fix the following errors. WooCommerce API will not work unless your permalinks are set up correctly. So go to permalink settings and make sure they are not set to plain. Easy, so just click permalink thing and they can't be set to plain, right? So they have to be set to post name, okay? And now we have to just click save. All right, once we've saved changes, we're gonna go back to Printful and connect it all up. Right, now we have to just click connect. This should open up Printful where we'll actually be able to connect it. So here we go, WooCommerce, click approve. It should be very, very straightforward. And this is basically how you would set up your entire website, but we haven't even got to the fun part. The fun part is when we're going to be creating the actual website with theme. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So it says you already have an account, click continue. So let's just click continue. Connect store to shimmymorris at gmail. Connect the store. It says hold on, product data is being synchronized. And once we've done that, it will be good to go. Right, add your first product to shimmymorrismedia.com. Add product, amazing. Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard and this is what it looks like. Right, obviously zero orders, I just created this now, but we've got orders, file library, stores, reports, my account, billing and notifications. So Printful is now officially set up with WooCommerce, right? So we would go to Printful, but we wouldn't go to this part of Printful. We would actually go to this Printful and click add product, right? And we would add a product within the Printful website and then it would get synced over to our store. So let's just add anything. Let's add a t-shirt just so we can go through this process. Let's add this one. We'll just add a simple, let's add a, let's just add a simple text. Hello everyone, right? And let's make this a bit smaller. And let's change the color. I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm going into such detail with this. And let's click proceed to mockups. And now we can pick a whole bunch of mockups. So let's click proceed to details. Let's just leave it at that. Proceed to pricing. Let's leave it at that. And now you have to click submit to store, right? And give it a couple of seconds. It says short sleeve unisex t-shirt. It's, it's adding the product to the store. And then we'll go to the store and I'll show you what it looks like. And we're done, right? It's basically added it to the store. You can see here it's synced nine products and it's you can edit it in WooCommerce. So if we click this, it will actually take us to be able to edit it within the WooCommerce product. So this is the product, right? Over here in products under WooCommerce, you can see right here we can edit the description. We can add whatever we need to add, right? So let's go back into um, all products and then it will show a drop down of our products and bam, look, it's right there. How cool is that? So you've got all the products you can add on Printful. You just select, you, you connect it and it automatically syncs it to your WordPress WooCommerce website. And this is your own website. Don't worry about getting banned. Obviously don't do anything you shouldn't be doing. Don't do any infringements of any sort. Don't rip anyone off. But this is how you would do it. It's so cool. But there's still one thing we have to do and then I'm gonna wrap up this video and that is actually design the website. So I'm not gonna design the whole website with you because that will just make this video hours long. What I will do is just show you how to do that. So let's go over to appearance and click customize under, just under themes it says customize and this is what it looks like. It's a very, very simple, simple website to be able to customize. You've got home, store, about us, contact us and my account, right? And you've got so many options here. You've got header builder, right? You can change the whole header, right? You've got, let's go back and mess around with this, right? Now, look, if you want me to create a video just showing you how to customize this theme, then let me know in the comments down below and I will make that video. I didn't wanna make this video showing you how to customize the theme. I just wanted to make this video showing you how to create a WordPress website with hosting uh, and connect, connecting it to WooCommerce and Printful. Whereas the actual customizing the theme, that will 
that will take a few hours, right? But you've got all of this over here. You've got menus that you can you can mess around with, you can change the colors, you can do anything you wanna do. You've then got, let's go back one more time, you've got widgets, homepage settings, right? And actually over here, right, we can go, go shopping, we can add a product. So this is actually our product that we just added. Hello everyone, right? It's so, so cool. You've also got the performance stuff, right? You've got a footer builder, so that's just down here. You've got the sidebar, you've got a blog if you wanna have a blog. There's basically a lot you can do here, but like I said, if you want a specific tutorial on how to use this, I will make that. For now, let's just click exit, and that's it. You've got yourself a WordPress website that you created through the Hostinger dashboard, right? So you didn't have to go into WordPress, connect it, connect it to a, 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 a a hosting a platform and then connecting it to SSL and get all of that sorted and then connecting it to WooCommerce and Printful. It's all done through Hostinger. So I created it in Hostinger, it led me to WordPress, I added the Printful plugin and then connected it all up, added a product on Printful and it got synced to uh, the WooCommerce shop on my WordPress website. And, and that's it, you're good, right? How cool is that? I mean, it sounds, the when I say it, it sounds more complicated than it is, but it really isn't. You can just follow these step by step. And then when it comes to messing around with the theme, just have fun, right? Now, I'm gonna wrap up this video, but I just wanna quickly end by saying, if you do wanna get hosting, you can get a huge discount with the link in the description. Use the code SHIMMY at checkout. I've already shown you how to check out, but it's a very, very cool platform. You get a free website, you get a whole bunch of stuff, you get 24 seven customer service. It's just fantastic. It's a really good platform, and I've had great experiences with it. So definitely go and check it out if that's something you wanna do. If you wanna set up a, a WordPress website and you need some sort of hosting, I would say use hosting because they are one of the fastest, one of the cheapest, and have great customer service. And that's what's important at the end of the day. So go check them out. And I wanna just say thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.